campaign or even the show, oh, we did a demonstration. So let's yes. do that now okay. and uh, let's take a look at that. We're going to be demonstrating some Krav Maga right now, David, and we hope we survive. Okay. Go ahead, David. So uh, we're, we're talking about the simplicity of Krav Maga. We're talking about how Krav Maga, how the Krav Maga system builds from very simple techniques and ultimately uh, gets uh, escalates to higher uh, threats and how we deal with those higher threats. Okay, so we're going to use a very simple hand defense to illustrate the point of the simplicity of Krav Maga and how it builds, uh, how techniques build on top of one another. Great. Okay. Uh, before we even start with it, I want to point out that um, Krav Maga is, of course, a, uh, a system that's based on instinctive responses, instinctive body responses, yes. uh, typical responses that your body would have against uh, common common situations, okay? Right. So one of the first things that I want to point out is if you're walking along, minding your business, and I call out to you from behind, hey, look out, one of the first things you're going to do is drop your center of gravity and pick up your hands. This is a very instinctive response that people have, sure. dropping center of gravity, picking up their hands, protecting the vital body parts. So we're going to take this basic instinctive response and turn it into a defense. Okay? okay? This is going to be a hand defense. So what I'd like you to do now is to take your hand and come at me with a big strike. And we'll go, we'll go nice and slow. Okay? So okay. we'll take this nice and slow. Okay. So as you're coming at me with a big strike, I'm going to defend myself by taking my hand and making a stopping defense nice. and stopping your incoming strike using my hand. Okay? Okay. It's not just sufficient for me to lift up my hand, I also need to take my body weight slightly in. Okay? Okay. The only way that I can stop your incoming attack is to make a very strong attack. If your incoming attack is very strong and I uh, back away from it, I'm going to collapse and, and uh, my defense is going to be useless. So I want to make my defense nice and strong. So as your incoming attack, I make my Five. defense nice and strong and say, so I want to take my body forward. Okay? This, this is something that we teach our students. And again, making a hand defense against something that's coming at you is a very instinctive response. Right. Okay? Sure. So this is something that we teach our level one students. Very simple defense. You're going to try it now with me. Okay. okay. So here we go. Alright, good. Use the other hand. Same side hand. That's it. Very okay. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go again. Good, very good. Go. And same side hand here. Tell me, I gotta very adjust good. people later. Right. <laughs> so wait for me, here we go. Same side hand, same side hand. Good, good, good. Yeah. And you know right now you're oh, learning. Hand. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Good. And again, let's go a couple of times. Good. Now we're gonna see how this escalates now. Good, and opposite side. Excellent. Okay. So you just learned a very simple hand defense against an incoming threat. Okay. Now, yeah. one of the things that we also teach our students is, of course, the if someone is striking at you or wants to hit you, their goal is not just to hit you once, make a hand defense. Right? Their goal is to recoil and hit you again, and then hit you again, and maybe hit you with the other side. Right? So at some point in time, you're going to need to stop that um, that mindset that says, I want to hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you again. Correct. And the only way to stop that is to hit back. Right? Okay? So... We're teaching our students in level one to make a hand defense and taking their body weight forward. Okay. Right. We're also teaching our students in level one, totally separate from this defense, how to punch. Okay. Uh, yes. In level two, we're going to take the defense and the punch and combine them. So, as you're striking me, nice and slow, as you're striking me with your hand, I make a defense and I make a simultaneous punch. Nice. Now, your mindset is, I'm going to hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you, here I come, and suddenly you just get hit. Okay. So now we've taken a very simple hand defense in level one, we've combined it in level two with a simultaneous counterattack, so that your mind no longer is, is uh, telling you to hit, or it is telling you to hit, but suddenly you're hit back. Okay. While you were the aggressor, now you become the person that's, that's the, the victim. Suddenly the tables have turned. Okay. You are attacking me, and now I, I come back at you with a, with a punch. You're breaking that whole mental plane is so important. It is, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Right. Um, so this is something that we teach our level two students. So now you're going to try to do the same okay. thing, very slow. Right. I'm going to attack you. You're going to make a counter and simultaneously punch straight past my shoulder, straight past my shoulder. Good. Now let's do that again. So I make an attack, you counter and punch. That's right. Defend and punch. That's it. Excellent. One more time. Fantastic. Good. Excellent. So now this is something for level two. Uh, of course, we're also teaching our students had to give different types of strikes other than punches. So now we get to level three. Okay. okay. Now they're not just making a counter attack and a punch. All right. Uh, sorry, a defense and a punch. So as you strike me, as you strike me, and I only make a defense and a punch, but after I make my punch, I come in, engage, and begin to give additional strikes. I see. Okay. okay. So now we 
we've taken a very basic instinctive response, right? We've turned it into a defense in level right. one, correct? And we get to practice, practice, practice that. Sure. In level two, we'll take that defense, we'll take that hand defense and add in the counter. So now we're teaching our students, hey, something is happening to you. You better be prepared to counterattack immediately. And then that's basic principles of self-defense. Okay. Yep. Basic principles of the self-defense tell us that first we need to address the immediate danger. Right. Okay. Then we need to counterattack, and then we need to get away safely. Okay. okay. Those That's three. Basic. Say that again. That's great. Okay. Right. So address the immediate danger. Right. Counterattack yep. in order to stop subsequent danger. Correct. Okay. And get away safely. Okay. So we're teaching our students to address the immediate danger in level one. This right. is addressing the immediate danger. This is incoming strike. We're addressing the immediate danger. We're right. level two. We're countering attack. Correct. Right. We keep it very simple. One counterattack. Level three. Address the immediate danger. Counterattack. Counterattack as necessary. Get away safely. I understand. Okay. That's great. Okay. Yeah. As um, as the levels progress and the students get better, we also introduce different things like knives. Mm -hmm. Okay. I uh, need to understand that an incoming strike could be a strike. Could very easily be a stab. Uh, okay. okay, and in the moment there is uh, the student, um, the defender is not going to have the ability to recognize whether it's a punch or whether it has a knife at the end or a bottle or whatever the case is. Okay, any sharp object is right. not going to be able to recognize. The student, the defender is not going to be able to recognize mm -hmm. it. It makes no sense for us to have one defense against a punch and a separate defense against a knife attack, right. when in essence the attack looks the same. Correct. Okay. Same motion. Same motion. Same exact motion. And this is part of the simplicity of Krav Maga, uh, keeping one defense, mm -hmm. one defense to address the most amount of attacks, ah. as opposed to having different uh, different defenses for all different kind of attacks. Because right. then it's too many. Too many. You may not even remember. I mean, right. so quick. Okay. Not only are you not going to remember, you're not going to know what to do. For us as instructors, it becomes very difficult to teach you because we have to teach you so many things. Yes. And for you as a student, it becomes very difficult to retain because now you're bombarded with information. I do this if it's a if it's a hand. I do this other thing if it's a knife. Sure. If it's the knife coming from this angle, yeah. it's totally different. Right. So okay. uh, hand it's defense, simple. right? Hand defense is a hand defense. So okay. now you, you have a pen, right? I do. You have a pen. Yep. And I so do. you put a pen in your pocket before. Okay. Right? Yep. So you're going to pretend. Can I have the pen? Sure. Okay. You're going to pretend that the pen is a knife. Right. And you're going to come at me with a an overhead, same motion as you were doing before. Okay. With a knife attack. Okay. So we're going to see that our defense now is going to be basically the same. Go ahead, nice and slow. Counter attacks, counter attacks. I'm still controlling the still weapon. Controlling. The only difference is that now I would have to disarm that weapon. I understand. So that's the next level, man. That's the next level. Right. Okay. Let's try that again. I like that. Okay. So, basic level one, level one. Yes. Level two. Right. Level three. Right. Right. Could be a headbutt, right. whatever. Okay. And now we're teaching you also how to take that weapon away if need be. And you're just going to constantly repeat this so pe the, the person will just get so comfortable doing right. that that it's like, well, right. I mean, Absolutely. that's your goal, right? Because yeah. since level one, they're learning these hand defenses. Yeah. So in level one, they don't even know why they're learning them. They just know yeah. that they're learning them. Correct. Okay. Level two, now we're teaching them to add the punch, and they're adding the punch, and it's great. You know, now they understand, oh, okay, yes, I need to punch. When right. I make this defense punch at the same time, now level three, we build and build and build. And, and before you know it, they begin to understand the reason why they're doing what they're doing. They may understand that very beginning because we do talk about it uh, but sometimes like anything else you start a new sport uh, whatever it is you know you like you know you like it but you're not really sure how the whole thing fits together you don't see the thousand uh, thousand foot up picture okay? mm -hmm. uh, right. but by the time they advance they'll get to see that picture that's great okay David that was great great demonstration